Oh boy! I'm doing it to myself again. Let me just put the put the trigger on. Y'all lol. That was a bad idea, I should have gone straight for it. Whatever. Crap. No, that was a bad idea. So I'm actually getting really good luck here. Not luck. Skill, sorry. I'm getting really good skill here. But no, not anymore. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Get straight to the top, and... When the heck was I jumping last time? When was I doing this that I was actually getting that properly? Oh, crap. It's just that, like, um, when he does his whole, um, thing, it slows down time. And as with a lot of other games, like, I'm, I'm talking about funny Breath of the Wild clips when I'm saying this. It's slowing down... Uh, the passage of time in a video game seems to never have uh, good consequences. <laughs> I don't know, bullet time has always been a wacky thing in games that is always interesting, but uh, this seems to... <sighs> I mean, like, what is going on? I guess I'm not going far enough up. I want to say it's right when I stop. Um, you have to get the... What the heck am I doing? Alright. You like have to get the crystal basically. I'm I'm trying to think about the path here, and it's kinda wacky. Cause if I like honestly bouncing on his head is really just a time save, because I don't have to worry about um wall clinging to get to the crystal. But everything beyond that is like um Okay, that was just me being an idiot, but that was actually pretty good. And, yeah, trying to jump up off the freaking. There we go. Okay, I should have just gone down there. Alright. The, the, like, it, it's, it's a big mix of everything going on all at once. And it's kind of hard to deal with. That, uh. God, also, I don't know if the music helps me or hurts me here when I'm playing a game like this. Here we go. Okay, I might be able to time a jump onto bouncing on his head. Because that's been going so well so far. Like, um... Here we go. That wasn't bad. And now we're at the end. Oh, hey. Oh, and I did that, like, perfectly. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I'm an idiot for that. <laughs> it's literally the end. It's the end of the freaking... The series, not the series. I feel bad for this. Hold on. The end was really this close. Now seems like a good time. It was not. Now... No. I want- okay, here's the thing. I want to land on it right as it- like, right after it pops into existence, so that I have enough time to stall in the air and land on it as it pops back. I want to say that's right now. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just a gamer, what can you- what can you do against- okay, that was a- Poor ordering, really. Okay, that was close to what I want. Now. Now. Okay. No, that was a terrible, terrible ordering again. Uh, here we go. Oh, I did the same kind of thing again. I, I can afford to stall a bit on 
like, um... Okay, I should probably stall on the wall there. If I have to, which I don't want to have to, but I could have to in the end. You know what wouldn't be a terrible idea? Um, I'm gonna try and do something stupid here. Yeah, that was not a terrible idea, actually. Okay, there we go. Very gamer. I am... I have good karma, my fellows. You know what? This gives me the perfect opportunity, actually, to, um... Go through and try and look for the strawberries that I missed. In not the B-side, because, um... That didn't take very long. That was what? Oh, my dear god. <laughs> yeah, not exactly a number to be proud of there, but... Okay. Um... Yeah, because it's only four. Whatever. I'll, I'll find them, and I'll put them in, because it's only... it was That was only, like, three screens. Couldn't have even been... No, yeah, not even. That was two screens. Dear God, I really could have slammed that into the end of the last episode. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna find the berries, and... I guess I'll edit in when I find them? It's... it's a... it's a weird kind of dealio where I don't want to... Because that would be one. I know, because... Here's the thing, when you pause the game, you see at the bottom it'll show you the berries, and it'll show you the ones that you've gotten. Sort of? Like, it'll show you that you... No, not really. It, uh... It shows what you've collected, and then it shows... It, it's, it is chronological. Which is kind of wacky for me, because this seems like the branching kind of game, and it actually isn't. Like this up here, I guess I just didn't see. So that'll be one of them that I have to find now. Alright. And that gives me a wonderful idea of where to look for it, too. Probably. If I can. Maybe not. Let's see here. Alright, I guess I'll ring for service. Can I skip past this part though? Oh, I can. Cutscene skipping, am I right? The only thing is, I don't want to miss anything important. And I feel like it might get into the category of... Big mess. And I don't want that to happen. And I know that I'm already... I feel like I'm already missing something now. But there definitely weren't three already, is all. I, I, I hope, you know. And uh, I, I don't want this to become just a me playing the level again, right? That would be annoying, I think. And I'm not exactly at the game, so... Video gamer, you know? Me just playing the level again would be boring. So yeah, I'm not I'm not missing anything yet. You can see at the at the bottom when I pause the game, the red one is the one that I just picked up. So chronologically, I'm not missing anything yet. I'm hoping that I didn't just miss my chance to find something right there though. Did I go up the middle here? I don't see why I wouldn't have. Like, am I dumb if I didn't? Yes, I'm very dumb. I really didn't go in here, did I? Yeah, these will be the two that I missed. Alright. <laughs> I am- I'm, I'm with stupid, except the stupid is me. And I am also me. How about that? And I didn't... I don't know what's with me, and I think it might be that I'm misunderstanding the way that momentum plays a part in this game. I'm probably not, but it's just like a, I'm doing stupid crap for the sake of it, I guess. Not really. 
It's not all for lols, my fellas. I'm actually just kind of bad. Okay. That was a poor use of the dash. That's a better use of the dash. The dash likes. Right? Dear God. Where am I going with this? Okay. How did I. F no, I didn't find this actually. I didn't find that specific little alcove. 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 Cove. Okay. Perfectly horizontal. Alright. Just like everything in my life. Okay, I swear to god, the directionals in this game, I should I should just use an 8 direction stick. I have no need to be using an Xbox controller in this game. Alright, here we go. Very gamer. That's me. Now I can just skip to huge mess if I really care. Which I do, actually. I do care about just skipping to big mess because I don't want to have to deal with the rest of that. I've died 600 times. Over 6 Oh, wonderful. Return to that. Yes. Because it saves my progress and I don't have to deal with all of that anymore. Granted, it apparently doesn't count as a full clear, but I kind of don't care. Just check out that time save. Anyways, wouldn't it be cool if I didn't have to talk to this man? Whatever. Mental health issues, my friend. Some people are kind of self-destructive. I used to be like that. I feel like this is the kind of thing that I can't talk about anymore. I don't know. I've been thinking about talking about things like mental illness for a while. I wouldn't consider myself mentally ill. Well, I mean, it's just one of those, like, for the sake of argument kinds of things. It's not particularly that I am mentally ill. It's just that the the way that one thinks about something can be changed and things like that. And I, I won't I don't know if I would call that like mental illness, right? Really. Um I don't know, because like I'm ADHD and I'm yeah, like it's a disorder. I wouldn't call it a mental illness. Hell, I think better than you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'd hardly I'd hardly call it a disorder. Did I really never get this? How did I never get this? Oh, you know, oh yeah, I remember now. I, I, I went up and there's a freaking thing there. So I just didn't get it. And I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Because up to the top there is some um, platform, right? I want to say that's the case. Yeah. So I just didn't actually get the chance to do it properly. <laughs> okay. So there's, there's one. Yeah, that'll be the start. So I'm guessing then the um, the the one closest to the bottom is considered the last chronologically. Then see this gives a, this gives also a bit of, a bit of a hint into how the berries are ranked chronologically. It's not really ranked, and I could just dash there. So anyway, back to what I was saying. It's like I'm ADHD and just generally like socially terrible. I'm not going to say that I'm terribly socialized or anything stupid like that, but like, I'm terrible at talking to people. Basically my entire family gets like stupid bad social, um, social anxiety and things like that. And I don't know, if you know me, it shows, trust me. Um, I, know, I know what I'm doing, right? Or I kind of understand the effect that I have on people. The, the kinds of things that I am privy to say on offhand, or just the way that I say them, right? My general sense of humor and the like. And it's not that I'm just like, I, I don't care, you know? It's, um, God, I don't know how to say anything. Properly describing the way that I'm talking, you know? So I can, I don't actually have to talk to Mr. O. To go into the next thing, huh? Kind of wacky. Okay, that's just the Pico 8. And this is just like not actually a related to it. This is just talking to the friggin' pile of clothes, my fellows. Skip cuts in. Nice, I don't have to deal with that. Bro, I can swim in this game? Can I drown? Anyways. 
It's just like I feel like people kind of take it as a cop out sometimes. Um, and I get it. I mean, it's it's just that kind of everybody has their own kind of mental fucked upness. And I don't know. It's it's the kind of stuff that's wacky to talk about because it's not. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna say that it's kind of not worth talking about really because of. I don't know, I'm not going to say that true mental illness is something widespread by any degree. But it's not... I don't know. It, it's it's kind of reached a relevance at this point, and yet it's still those that kind of thing that people have to tiptoe around. And it's just, like... I don't know. It's, it's the kind of... It, it's gotten to a, a degree where people take to it the kind of way that they take to anything that they think they're not supposed to talk about. Where it's it's just kind of you can do no wrong kind of thing, you know. Like it, it, and it's hard for me because I mean I had I got my psycho now, like right before ninth grade. And that's one of those I'm so darn close to the autism bar. I'm so close to just having, like, being an ultra autismo. Like, I'm very close to that line. I get it. Um, but it, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel selfish even talking about it to just say, like, it's, it's a bar that's, it's a kind of, I don't know, social protections that aren't afforded to me as somebody who is, I don't know, expected to function properly. And that makes sense, like, I am, I don't want to say a regular part of working society, but it's, I don't know. It's just kind of wacky that people are, I don't know, they're, they're very, comf like, if it's something that you're not supposed to understand, and you don't understand, then they're very accepting of that. But, like, you only get that when you're, like, sat down and yelled at, I guess. Like, oh, you, you're not supposed to understand people with autism. You'll never understand women and minorities, you know? And it's kind of at a point where... Uh, it's, it's pretty wacky stuff. Like, I don't disagree, but it's... It's like, um, I don't know, again, it kind of gets to a cop-out level, and then we're not, like, supposed to talk about things like that. And, I mean, I'm not going to say I struggle with mental illness, but it's it's just kind of like, everybody, I, I'm not going to say everybody struggles with mental illness either. It's just one of those things that people interact with, sort of. To some degree, I would hope. I mean, I, I live in a pretty diverse area, and I don't, I mean, I'm not going to say that the kind of diversity you can actually track has anything to do with autism, but, and I, I wouldn't even say that autism is really, like, an issue that somebody has, well, okay, if somebody suffers from autism, this isn't what I'm talking about, I'm talking more about, like, it being a, a danger to society or something, you know? Like the way that psychopathy is. I don't think that autism is in that level at all. In, in that vein of mental illness where you're a serious danger to yourself and others, right? And I feel like people forget that these people like legitimately used to be put in prisons because there's, there just wasn't anything to be said, I suppose. Anything, anybody's saying anything about, like, no, no, they're, they are, they are screwed up in the head, my friend. They don't know what they're doing, you know? And it's, it's just kind of wacky that we, there used to be that, and we have made kind of leaps and bounds in a, in a, like, this, this wonderful modern world we live in, right? And yet it's still, it, I, I don't know, it's not, like, now into prevalence. So I feel like I'm not gonna say that like the emo crowd try to do try to pull stuff like that. The emo crowd was just like the emo crowd, you know. 
emo kids just kind of say stuff, I guess. But it's just like, I don't know, kind of wacky stuff. I want to say I did the same kind of thing as I was talking about later with the last strawberry with this. Where it's just like the literally the last thing you see before you go into a new area. I, th I want to say that happened here, and I'm really hoping because I have no idea where else it would be if that's not the case. But yeah, it's just like... I don't know. It, it gets into territories where I feel like I'm... I'm, I'm not going to say like I'm in danger of being attacked. Oh, okay, this was not the case. I have no idea where that last strawberry is. Though. Huh. I don't know. Because again, I'm, I'm real close to being like <laughs> deranged. <laughs> Not really. And I mean, I'll, um, I haven't dealt with serious. Well, I'm on to say I have dealt at all with any kind of trauma. I, I'm, I wouldn't be one to say, oh, I've dealt with trauma in my life, you know, and I'm not going to be the kind of guy that uses, uh, I mean, and I also don't want to insinuate that people use their own mental illness as a cop-out in every instance, but it's, it's just kind of one of those things that I think about. I can understand kind of warning people, like, hey, I am, I am mentally unhinged right now, and I would appreciate if you were to not do this, that, and the other, right? But I don't, I guess I'll never understand quite when it gets into kind of a sense of entitlement, where, um, I don't know, like you kind of can dictate what people can or can't do in general. Just because, oh, well, I'm the one who might, like, slit their wrists, you know? I mean, sure, it's a, it's a, it's a, a real threat there. I don't want anybody really to, to actually, like, off themselves, but... I mean, the call of the void, man. Life kind of sucks, and it's not just you. You know? I mean, I get it. Uh, I've had my own bouts with depression before. Just before anybody comes at me for not, not understanding. I really do. Uh, not, maybe not in, to the intensity that other people have. Probably not, honestly. Uh, but that, again, that gets into the, the variable. I mean, I don't know that anybody's quite gonna understand anybody else to any super degree. And I just find it odd that people act like they should, you know? I, but I'm odd enough that it's never been something that I'm too, I guess, picky about. I don't expect people to really get what makes me tick, because I have no idea what makes anybody else tick either. It's uh, kind of an odd existence to have. I don't understand it. Why am I going here? I already know I got... Um, I, it has to be in here. Hmm. I don't know. I... I should probably stop the video. I don't know. I just... It's just something that I kind of felt like talking about, I guess. And again, I'm not, like, severely disabled in any way. Uh, again, ADHD is about the, the extent besides, like, the... the relatively severe social anxiety aside, um, there isn't really much wrong with me. And it's, I think it's odd to talk about, really, because I'm not gonna act like I'm an authority here. Um, I don't know. It's not something to think about. And uh, people don't really think about it all that much. Okay, so hold on. What was I looking at? Oh. It's just that, like, um, you can help people with mental illnesses. I'm not gonna act like that's, like, an impossible thing to do. And it sucks that mental illness exists and is prevalent to the degree that it is. But it's not, like, and, and at times, I understand that at times it might seem such, but it's not impassable. Right? This is the books. 
I don't know what I was looking at that I thought this was some other area. Whatever. I'm just gonna... Uh, I feel like I haven't gotten to a stopping point where I was talking about, but I've kind of run out of things to do with the game. You know? And I guess this is a, a fair game to talk about it here. And it's... It's just, like... I don't know. I'm gonna put it in terms of the game. Why not? She gets kind of defensive and she... And stuff like that. And I can understand kind of projecting into yourself this, like, triumphant persona, I suppose. I don't know if that's what this is happening. And again, I'm gonna play through the game. And I guess I'll stop there because somebody who knows what they're talking about when it comes to the story of Celeste and what's going on, it seems like she has some anxiety relating to somebody that doesn't talk to her anymore. That's all I know so far. I can understand that. Um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like it, it's, we've gotten to a point in modern culture, I guess, where, like, being the, the slightest bit mentally on edge gives you a, a pass for things. And, and I, I guess it's not an all-knowing kind of thing, but I feel like more often than not, you get into the kinds of people that, um, I don't know, like if, if you're the kind of person that discloses it beforehand, then you can end up getting enough people on your side just on the basis of that, and then you're expected to have, like, allies, I guess, for mental illness, and then these people can do no wrong, according to whatever their friends are. Or something along those lines, and I mean, I would, I would hope to God that that's not like an actual, overly common occurrence. But I mean, I've had my own bouts with things similar to that, and I mean, it isn't as if it all goes into just, oh, it's it's fine. This person is is depressed, so you know, just just keep that in mind. They didn't mean blah blah blah. You know, it it rarely it devolves into something like that, and it's it's just like, it's never an excuse. I can understand trauma and like poor reactions to things that might remind someone of trauma or traumatic experiences or might give trauma, because again, I have <laughs> like severe social anxiety. Um, you scream at me in public, I'm going to have an adverse reaction, you know? But I, I don't know, I'm not, like, externally destructive or not. And I, I mean, I'm sometimes destructive, but it's typically self-destructive, not in any overly, like, bodily harm kind of way. I, I, uh, I, like, <laughs> completely destroyed my Apple Watch one time in a public freak out. <laughs> but, I don't know, I get it. I guess when it comes to the way that people, well, I guess the point is that nobody gets it really to the point that the people, the mentally ill, I suppose, the more, or I guess the less mentally ill people, the ones that are kind of like, they're not mentally ill enough to get into the sped class at school, you know? I don't know. It's like jet, like slightly less than functional, I suppose. I don't, I don't want to say any of this and sound like I'm insulting anyone, because I mean, socially I'm much less than functional, <laughs> and it's just like. I guess I, I really just kind of summed it up in my saying I, I don't think it's an excuse. I don't think it's an excuse for someone to do stuff or, or for it to be okay. Anyway. And I guess the idea is that it isn't okay, but it's more understandable with the guise of blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, just because you're mentally ill doesn't mean you can't do it all. And that's, like, kind of the point to some degree institutionalization, but that never has good optics 
when you think that oh, with the mentally ill as a subset of people solely to be like pitied, you know. I I'm completely neutral, so I have my own I don't know. I guess that'll that'll really always be it. Just that I've had my own bouts with being mentally ill at points in time. I also just don't know what I'll even would qualify as mental illness. Because, I mean, I'd say that I'm highly likely chemically imbalanced in some way that makes me more privy to, like, suicide. But I've kind of reached a nihilistic level of going past that. I don't know if, if that's reassuring to anybody. Probably not. But I don't, I don't see myself as ever really thinking too seriously about that again. But I, I mean, anybody that can't get past it, I'm not gonna act like I can tell you how, right? Because I think that it's, it all gets down to just that we're all individuals. And I can't, I don't know, I'm not going to go up to someone with depression and be like, well, it didn't, it didn't take me that long, you know? Because, uh, I mean, I guess mine wasn't too intense. I was able, I was actually able to get past whatever it was that was wrong with me. But it's, it's, I don't know. It's just like a lot of people that haven't really had to deal with anything, and they're just like, oh, it's all okay, you know? And now, you know, there, there is a problem. There is something to be done, right? And it's not crutch, it's not supposed to be anything more than a mental obstacle. That is how it is brought itself about it's how it is, right? I don't see why it could be effectively misconstrued in any other way than simply an obstacle. Well, in the least simple way, <laughs> really. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for listening along, you know. Um Again, I don't mean any offense by anything that I might have said. I was hoping I didn't set anyone off. You know. But, uh, that'll be all for today. I might talk more about this in the future. It's kind of close to me, I guess. Just like, uh, not really. I don't understand people in general. I don't understand the sane ones. How am I going to talk about the mentally ill? <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will put you in prison. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.